Open Road Film has debuted the first trailer for the Bill Murray movie Rock the Casbah, directed by Barry Levinson. In the film, Murray stars as Richie Lance, a washed-up rock manager that finds himself in Afghanistan, broke and without his passport, until he discovers a young girl with an amazing voice. The movie also stars Bruce Willis, Kate Hudson, Zoe Deschanel, Scott Kahn, Danny McBride, and it opens on October 23rd in AMC theaters everywhere. David, do you buy or sell the trailer for Rock, rock the Casbah? I buy it because of Bill Murray. This is, I think, this is going to be an excellent showcase for him, just to display all of his brilliance, his drama, his comedic, you know, uh, just powerhouse. He's just so good in everything he does. I love Bruce Willis. Like him with all the uh, armor he has on and the guns yeah. and the tats he has. He looks great too. You know, I, I'm not a big uh, Zoe Deschanel fan. I know she's uh, you know, America's sweetheart. She's the cutest thing since whatever. But it's just, I don't know. She never does anything. She never pulls me into any role she's in. I always just look at her. I'm like, oh, she's cute. But uh, everybody else in here, uh, I'm, I'm definitely, I love Danny McBride too. I know Dennis, you and I are both fans of Eastbound and Down. Yeah. So I mean, I, I love Danny <laughs> McBride. He's, he's hilarious. Mark? I buy it uh, for the same reasons that David just mentioned. I think Bill Murray is the best comedic actor since Charlie Chaplin. He's that good. I'm nervous about this film because Bill Murray recently, you look at movies like Monuments Men or Aloha, where I love watching Bill Murray, and he's just, the movies that he's been in haven't always lived up to his standards. St. Vincent, on the other hand, I thought was a really good film, and it was a great showcase for Bill Murray. So the fact that it's Bill Murray in a starring role, as opposed to just a movie that also has Bill Murray in it, gives me a lot of hope for the movie. I think the premise is great. He's a washed up rock manager. That's hysterical. They're going to the Middle East on a very dangerous gig. Zoe Deschanel getting kidnapped. The fact that he had Bruce Willis and Danny McBride, it looks more like a red Bruce Willis than a Die Hard 5 Bruce Willis, which is good news. So yeah, I'll buy it. I'm going to buy it because of Barry Levinson. I mean, he's right. You know, he uh, he directed a lot of movies like Good Good Morning Vietnam, Wag the Dog, Rain Man. And he's kind of gone under the radar lately because he hasn't been doing big studio movies. But I think this might be something that maybe bring him brings him back into the limelight. I think uh, the satirical look that he had on politics and kind of the PR of politics in Wag the Dog, I think some of that satirical humor is going to come into this movie. And it's Bill Murray being Bill Murray. Murray, right uh, at his most and um, that that one scene you're, you're talking about Bruce Willis I know it's kind of like a scene that's been done before but it still cracked me up when he when Bill Murray's in the hotel room and he turns around and, and Bruce Willis is in his bed with like the armor on and with the gun I just, I just cracked up at that so I, I'm actually really looking forward to this 